Hey Mal, it's Dad. Just wanted to see how you're doing. Love you. Call me back. Hey Dad. Hey sweetie, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I can't wait for you guys to come out. I've missed you guys a lot. Oh, well we missed you too. It's, it's kind of crazy that like I wasn't really able to see you guys after the World Cup and it just like got me thinking of like my whole soccer career and where I am now and just where I started and um, do you remember just like my first soccer game and how how crazy it's been? Yeah, I do. It's been uh, it's been a long road. When did you realize that like I wanted to be a professional soccer player? I, you remember the time we had the trampoline in the backyard, yeah. and you were kicking the ball through the little opening to get in yeah. into the trampoline. That was the moment when I knew that this could be a possibility. Yeah. Because you did it like 10 out of 10 times and <laughs> you were just laughing and I'm like, that was lucky, that was lucky, <laughs> that was lucky, so I don't know. Both mom and I saw a passion and um, you know, it just wasn't normal. Um, you know, Bree would kind of mess around with the soccer ball but not even close to what you did. Um, you always had a soccer ball at your feet. Yeah, do you remember like what the biggest difference between me and Bree growing up was? I think Bree was, you know, kind of the better athlete. I think you were the more focused athlete. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've accepted that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you were just dead set on, you know, wanting to, as you always said, be the best in the world. So question, because I, I remember with you growing up, you always had this thing for Ronaldinho. Yeah. What's the deal with that? <laughs> well, have you ever seen him play? Probably not, because he didn't really watch soccer. Well, maybe. Let me see, maybe. golf or soccer? Golf or soccer? Um, yeah, you would watch golf. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've told you this before, that like soccer makes me feel free and like creative. And that's exactly how he plays, is like this free and creative style of play. And so, I mean, he, he's been an inspiration of mine. Maybe you should watch him. Maybe I will. Why were sports like so important for like our whole family? You know, mom and I, we never, we, we never wanted to be that type of parent to where, um, you know, we forced anything on you guys. But I remember, you know, there were some times when um, you guys would have a really hard practice and, you know, we, we were like, D you're, you're crying to the wrong two people because, oh, yeah. you know, mom was a, you know, marathon runner and, um, you know, and, uh, and, I, and I ran track, so it was kind of like my warm up was, you know, horrible. And, um, <laughs> you know, I would puke after my warm up and then have to have a whole nother two hours of, of track practice. So, um, yeah. So yeah, I, I don't think you guys didn't really have much sympathy. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was no sympathy for mom and I. We were just kind of like, if this is what you guys want to do and if this is the level you want to do it at, then, <laughs> you know, just do it. <laughs> when me and Bree would be like, playing bad or whatever and all you would say is come on mal <laughs> yeah round a 16 game we were walking out and all i heard literally out of all the crowd noise all i heard was come on mal and i just started laughing because <laughs> i know now it's like as a joke yeah but it kind of it, it kind of like gets me going so i know like the the whole decision of me like going to college or going pro, um, you know, how like big of a decision that was for me. I never really asked like you and mom, like, did you guys ever have any worries? There was a time when I, I remember you did call and you were like, I don't know if I can do this. And, um, you know, honestly, mom and I were, we were concerned because out of everything you've ever been through, we've never heard you say, I don't know if I, I can do this. We were kind of like, okay, we need to step in as mom and dad again and uh, do whatever we need to do to help her 
achieve her goals. But you know, uh, and, and honestly, it was it was one of those things to where we sat down and we were like, look, you know, give the girl a fair shake. She's just out of high school. She's never done her own laundry, never cooked by herself, never done a lot whoa, of things. Whoa, 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 wait. Yeah. What about do your own lawn? Actually, mom would do my laundry. Yeah. But I would okay. be able to. I would be able to like whip up some like mac and cheese or something. Yeah. Well, you know, you're a pro athlete. You can't live on mac and cheese. So. True. <laughs> Were you just as nervous for my first professional game as you were for my first game with the U.S. team? That kind of thought crossed my head like, oh my God, don't screw up. But, uh, <laughs> but I was then, saying the same. <laughs> um, but it was funny though. I, I, you know, you got in and it was probably one of the most electrifying, proudest moments that mom and I have ever had uh, to see yeah. you score that first goal. And, Honestly, it happened so quick. We were like, you know, and the two girls that we were talking to, they were like, you know, just hugging us and everything. And I'm like, okay, the, you know, the U.S. scored. And they were like, no, your daughter, Mal, scored. And, and we didn't even know until we saw it on the, on the replay. So. Typical. Um. <laughs> Do you remember when I was in sixth grade, though, and I wrote in my yearbook that I wanted to be a professional soccer player? and be on Team USA. It's funny because mom and I thought about that and it was just kind of like, okay, you know, that's one of her dreams or whatever. And, um, you know, wow, here you are now. Go figure. I want to know, like, what has your proudest moment, what has it been? You know, honestly, and mom and I have talked about this, our proudest moment, it's not a soccer moment. It's that you are still who you are. Mm. And, you know, you're just Mal. I mean, we say it all the time. You're just, you know, people ask us and I'm like, yeah, she hasn't changed. She's just, she's the same old Mal. Um, you know, she just has to sign autographs now. But uh, <laughs> I think that's what a lot of people don't, don't see is the personal side to where, um, you know, you're just a genuine, you know, next door kid that, you know, went to Mountain Vista High School in Highlands Ranch, Colorado, and um, had a dream. NBHS. <laughs> All right. All right, Dad. Um, All right, well, I'm excited I'll to see you. you. Yeah, I love you. Okay, I love you too. All right. Okay, bye.